Along Pensacola Bay, Florida, two archaeological sites represent the spectrum of climate impacts in the area and management responses. This climate story is a tale of two sites. Middle Mins is situated between two towering sand dunes on the north end of Santa Rosa Island. Formerly an indigenous camp, dating from the woodland period through the historic period, Middle Middens is now used by visitors as a location for relaxation and recreation. The site's location on a barrier island means that it is highly exposed, both to visitor traffic and to major storm events. Impacts to the site are significant, and the dual nature of these impacts appear to be speeding up deterioration of the site and surrounding dunes. While the site is well known to the local land manager, little has been done to dissuade visitors from further impacting the site. But, over the last two years, local archaeologists with the Florida Public Archaeology Network and the University of West Florida have attempted to monitor the site on a periodic basis and use a Ferro 3D scanner to record changes to the site over time. Therefore, despite the lack of buy-in for site protection from the land manager, data produced over the long term during repeated visits help preserve site information and help better understand the interplay of natural and cultural impact in exposed coastal areas like Santa Rosa Island. On the opposite end of the Pensacola Bay watershed is the Bruce Beach site. Bruce Beach once served as a segregated beach in 1950s and 1960s Pensacola. The beach area had been used as a commercial dry dock in decades prior. Large pilings and debris remnants left in place were treacherous to Bruce Beach visitors. To provide a safer swimming experience, the city of Pensacola built Bruce Pool and Picnic in 1956 with contributions from the African American and Creole communities. And, as a result, the pool became a popular local hangout. In 1975, however, Bruce Pool closed when the city of Pensacola decided to expand its Main Street Wastewater Treatment Plant. But, in recent years, although the wastewater treatment plant had eventually been removed due to its vulnerability to flooding, the Bruce Beach area became a semi-forgotten plot of land along the waterfront, battered by the erosional effects of major storms. Therefore, the city of Pensacola has recently decided to revitalize Bruce Beach. The site's previous history will be featured through signage in a park setting. Waterfront restoration areas and eco-friendly design are intended to minimize deterioration of this waterfront site. Though these two sites represent different periods of the area's history and different management responses, both are at risk from climate change. With the help of long-term impact data and multidisciplinary studies, Local archaeologists hope to be able to better advocate for the protection of sites like Middle Mittens and encourage stakeholders to engage with heritage like has been planned for Bruce Beach.